Hello, my name is Nicholas Cosmo. And I'm Philip Law. This is our project on transonic truss brace wing design. The transonic truss brace wing design, also known as TTBW, is a modern wing design that heavily improves upon vehicle performance. It does this by making the airfoil much thinner and supporting it by these two trusses. By making the airfoil much thinner, you make the air aspect ratio of the airfoil significantly higher, and this reduces the induced drag. By making the airfoil much thinner, you also reduce the weight of the aircraft, and by adding these two trusses located on the fuselage attached to the kind of midpoint of the wing, you heavily decrease the bending moment of the wing due to the trusses placement. And this photograph over here is of the Chinese company Comac, uh, and their model, the Vilpless Truss Brace Wing Distrator, uh, and it was a one-tenth scale uh, they flew to demonstrate the modern concept of the truss brace wing design. The aircraft we're going to talk about the most in this presentation is the Boeing Sugar Volt concept aircraft, which is a truss brace wing design. Um, with a turboprop setup. Um, there were multiple iter iterations of this concept aircraft, uh, but the second one improved upon the first one by adding more sweep to the wings, 20 degrees, I believe, and by moving the wings more forward on the fuselage. Um, the wing is a staggering 52 meters, um, which they make up for with airport parking by allowing it to fold at the truss points. But they, um, they allow the plane to go Mach 0.8 as opposed to the conventional airliner speed of Mach 0.7 to Mach 0.75. The sugar volt concept burns eight to 10% less fuel than cantilevered wing designs. There is lower noise pollution, and they, this is a little fact about the aspect ratio, but the cantilever aspect ratio for a narrow body was eight to 10, and the Boeing Sugar Bowl concept aircraft is a staggering 27 aspect ratio. Um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds with the high capacity, but you still get the really great lift to drag ratio of say like a glider um, and the high wing configuration allows for optional integration of more efficient engines so um, there are some iterations that just have the regular old turbofan engines um, but the sugar bowl concept is a turbo prop and so what's kind of cool about the engine configuration for the sugar bowl is it actually uses um, conventional aircraft fuel and then to take off, and then it uses um, electricity or electric motors to sustain itself during cruise conditions. Um, and the, re the, the, the reason they're able to do that is because of the, the, uh, the lesser weight on the aircraft. Right? So by making these airfoil center, you have a lot less weight, and so you have a little more room to play around with, say, adding extra batteries um, that allow you to cruise very well. Um, some of the cons to the uh, Boeing Sugar Bowl concept is, as I mentioned earlier, the difficulty with parking. Um, these wings do fold up, but they fold up 90 degrees and it still makes it very difficult to put them in a hangar and things like that. Um, not to mention it adds more systems. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Vought F4U Corsair, they have a wing folding system um, and it adds a lot of hydraulics that don't necessarily need to be there. On cantilevered aircrafts, you don't have them, but what's one more hydraulic system if you think about it? So. It's not that big of a con, but it is a con you have to think about. And uh, adding on what Nicholas was talking about, another con of this Sugar Volt concept aircraft is what material the wing is made of. Uh, because it needs to be light enough 
to be part of the wing, strong enough to hold out this weight of being long, being light, and also be holding itself for uh, the truss and the wing. It also needs to be cheap enough uh, for manufacturers to be willing to put in the money to build this aircraft. And uh, the main vehicle we've been talking about is the Sugar Vault concept aircraft has been a joint venture of Boeing and NASA and their subsonic ultra green aircraft research program or SUGAR has been referring to. Um, it's been about 10 years of design so far and they're expecting it to be flown publicly in the next 10 to 15 years of between 2030 and 2035. Now, the real reason they're trying to make a push for this is the economical and uh, environmental impact that it will have. It will reduce the carbon footprint by reducing the fuel consumption, drag, which companies like. Uh, it increases the revenue and reduces the spending of operating the vehicle, uh, which is a big plus in aeronautical industry of commercial flight and whatever it's going to be used for other applications may ensue but the main reason is just reduce and drag increase and in economical value of the main aircraft just overall efficiency um, here are our references and yeah this concludes our presentation um, if you have any questions feel free to ask us um, in the chat thank you